today we're talking all about mixed media. I'm also going to give you a really quick overview of how I created my sunflower painting. So stay tuned to the very end if you want to see that. So let's get started. I want to take you right behind the scenes on how my sunflower painting came together because I know a lot of you were really enthusiastic about what you saw progressing on Facebook and on Instagram and you can't wait to get a little behind the scenes look. But before we get there, I have to tell you what is mixed media. Now I know some of you are like, duh, I know what that is. But there's some people who this may be brand new for you and if that's you, don't feel bad. It, it could be a brand new term. So mixed media is whenever you're mixing more than one medium. For me, that means I'm mixing collage with paint. So I could be mixing collage with acrylic. I could also be mixing uh, acrylic or collage with watercolor. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be show, sharing with you how I combine collage, paint, and charcoal. I'm going to do right now is give you a broad strokes overview of what you would need to do if you wanted to create my sunflower painting. So we're going to go in a little quick behind the scenes tour of how I put together the sunflower painting because I got a lot of great feedback. So I'm going to share with you the different steps and what I was thinking and feeling and planning behind each step. Alrighty, so here I am with the canvas. It's five feet long. I'm only 5'2", so it's almost as big as I am. And it takes up my entire table. So you see, here I am. I actually, at this point, have no idea of what I'm going to paint. So it's, I'm starting off with just finding neutral papers that kind of go together, sort of but not really. And I'm going to create a very neutral paint layer on top as well. So what happened is that I just wanted to cover the entire canvas. And like I said in the video, you don't have to know what you're going to paint in order to begin this process. So this process is very freeing, very meditative, because you don't have to make too many decisions and you don't have to worry. So it is like meditation where you're just breathing <laughs> and relaxing. You can listen to music and just explore different textures and processes. So it was actually a week later when I came back to do my drawing. I had gone to Amsterdam and so I knew I really wanted to do sunflowers. And you can see I set up the sunflowers all the way across the canvas. So it really, it's so cute because it looks like the flowers are peeking their heads over the canvas to see what I'm doing. Now I didn't videotape that first canvas, but then I did a second sunflower painting. And so I did videotape drawing in charcoal. It's just a regular charcoal. Uh, it may be a black pastel to be honest, but it, they're both the same thing. A charcoal freehand right on top of my canvas. You can draw pretty much anything on top of a mixed media canvas. I've had students draw the cats that they've learned in the cat class on top of the canvas. So if you've taken that class, you might want to do that. You can draw a bird, a butterfly, and then all you have to do is paint on top of it. One more ninja trick, if you are going to draw with charcoal on top of your canvas, be sure you spray it with an acrylic spray and that will keep the charcoal from running and turning into a gray hot mess. Alright, so let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for letting me share and geek out with you about art and mixed media. Now that you've gotten an overview of how I create mixed media art, the big question is, how do you get started? Hands down, this is the biggest stumbling block for most art students. If you can't get started, then you won't progress in your art and it will just be a dream that you have. That's why I want to inspire and motivate you so that you believe that this is possible for you too, because I want you to start creating art. Now, what beginner mistakes should you avoid? That's exactly what we'll talk about in the next video. If you're afraid of the blank canvas, then video two will serve as the foundation so you shut down that inner critic. If you're already selling art, I know you struggle with these issues too, because we all do, even me. Inner critics and imposter syndrome never really go away. But don't worry, there are ways to compensate so that you don't let fear shut you down. So before we go today, 
I would love to hear from you. So in the comments below, please tell me what would life look like for you if you could create mixed media art? And how will life be different when you get started in mixed media? Let me know in the comments below. I am going to read every single one and I will respond to as many as I can. And if you found this video useful, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, or even by forwarding a friend the URL to this page. What you've learned here today is a simple process for creating mixed media art. It's a game changer in helping you unleash your creativity, and it's a key step along the way in becoming an artist. And that's when you can get started in mixed media, and more importantly, have a hobby that brings you joy and is relaxing. And what you're learning in this workshop puts you on the right path to get there. Next up, we're going to talk about how to avoid rookie mistakes by following a simple process to help you shut down your inner critic. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. And thanks so much for spending this time with me. Bye for now.